Hi, welcome back to SolveAndGo.com. Um, continuing our discussion of elementary matrices and inverse matrices, let me begin by giving you the definition of an inverse matrix. Before I talk about matrices, let's talk about the inverse to just a number. So let's say we have the number 5. What's the inverse? The inverse of 5 is 1 fifth. And these pairs of this pair of numbers is the property that one number, 5, times its inverse, 1 over 5, equals 1. Okay, so this is what we mean by the inverse of a number. Um, in the matrix world, there's also the notion of an inverse. And the corresponding idea in the matrix world, what corresponds to 1, is the identity matrix. Because 1 times any number is that number, and the identity matrix times any matrix is that matrix. Okay, so let me give the definition. So the inverse to a matrix A is the matrix um, denoted as follows. So A inverse with a negative 1 in the exponent. has the properties. There's two properties. Okay, One, A times its inverse is the identity matrix. And two, the inverse of a matrix times that matrix is also the identity matrix. Okay, So this corresponds to the, the similar notion for numbers we saw before. Um, note that it's important we it's important to have these two properties here, not just the one, because in general, um, matrix multiplication is not what's called commutative, meaning that the order you multiply matrices um, in general matters. So for two matrices, A, a and B, A times B uh, may be different than B times A. Okay, So we need these two properties. Okay, so let me give you a specific example. Um, one thing to, to note here is that not every matrix has an inverse. Um, we'll get into which matrices do and, and which matrices don't in a different video. But for now, let's take the example we had before. Okay. Now, there's a procedure to find this inverse matrix, which I'm going to describe um, in a, a latter part of this video, uh, this video series on inverse matrices and elementary matrices. But for now, let me give you the inverse matrix. It is 1 over 15, 2 over 15, negative 2 over 5, and 1 over 5. Again, there's a procedure for finding this, and I'll show you that um, in a later video. OK, let's perform the matrix multiplication. What do we get? So let's give myself some room here. OK, let's see. Uh, we get 3 times 1 over 15, which is 1 over 5, uh, minus, and minus is plus 4 over 5 in this entry. OK, this entry here, um, we're going to get 6 over 15, which reduces to 2 over 5, minus 2 over 5. Here we get 6 over 15, which reduces to 2 over 5, and then minus 2 over 5 here. And then in the last entry, we get 12 over 15, which reduces to 4 over 5, uh, plus 1 over 5. Okay, And then adding these fractions together, what you see is we get 1, 0, 0, and 1. OK, the identity matrix. OK, let's check the other, the other side. So I'll erase this and multiply on the other side. OK, we have our inverse here. Do the opposite multiplication. And what do we get? 3, negative 2, 0, 1, 
equals um, 3 over 15 reduces to 1 over 5 um, plus where are we here um, this is a 6 um, plus 12 over 15 which reduces to 4 over 5 okay negative 2 over 15 plus 2 over 15 here okay down here we get negative 6 over 5 plus 6 over 5 and finally here we get negative 4 over 5 uh, negative and negative makes positive 4 over 5 plus 1 over 5 okay and then again adding these together we get 5 over 5 or 1 um, 0 negative 6 plus 6 gives a 0 here and then 4 plus 1 is 5 over 5 which is 1 so again we get the identity matrix okay um, so of course a similar notion exists for matrices of bigger sizes 3 by 3 4 by 4 and so on um, again not every matrix has an inverse and um, matrices that aren't square don't have inverses so the idea of an inverse of a matrix only exists for, for square matrices.